Take a trip. Find some friends. Find a seat. Find your power animal. This is awesome. So is this, and this, and that. Have a beer. Start a fight and make everyone wish they were only in Minnesota. I hear a lot of people talk about goalies having that kind of strange, weird personality, and it seems like every team that he's played on, people will tell me he's probably one of the most normal goalies he's ever met. You know, you're not around the guys that much, but Adam's pretty happy-go-lucky. He's engaging in the locker room. Uh, sometimes uh, that position, the guys are kind of quiet and stick to themselves, but Adam seems to be in the middle of whether the guys are you know, practical jokes on each other or throwing barbs at each other. Yeah. He keeps things kind of light, and I think that's kind of his point, is uh, he has a positive outlook on life. Um, I think my mentality locker room is a little bit more relaxed than most goalies. I think, you know, if you ask, like, Clueless or people that sit behind me, uh, I try to ease the nerves a little bit by, you know, kind of joking around. Well, he, he makes fun of me a lot just for being short sometimes or just other things. He put, uh, put a, like, a little glass of water underneath my helmet, and I pulled it off. I um, helmet off to, to go to the practice and the water fell on me and uh, I, I knew it was him right away because he kind of started laughing and giggling. Ryan is a, uh, you know, he's the shorter end of the Riley brothers so if Ryan ever, uh, you know, makes fun of me for anything, uh, he, you know, I always go, go gutless on him and just hit him right in the heart so he cut it off short early but Ryan's a great guy and he takes it really well. I think he just picks on probably my brother, Mikey, and then Brady when he plays. Um, him and Mikey go at it pretty, pretty hard. Uh, Mike Riley wants to be Terry Styles One Direction, and I think you know he has potential, but he just doesn't have the voice, and he's kind of shy up there. We've done karaoke a couple times, and you know, I think more than anything, me and Connor have taken it away. We did, we did best song ever once, and we did it, I think four weeks straight because he just crushed it. Everyone was loving it. And he's a pretty happy-go-lucky kid. Um, he always has been. I think I can seriously count on my hand where he has been in a bad mood. He's definitely is someone you want to hang out with. He's fun to be around. And, uh, and on the ice, he's all business. Are you sure? Oh, big save! On the ice, he's the biggest warrior. Like, he, he's mean on the ice. And he, he competes and he wants to win. And, like, you can't, if you see his personality of outside of hockey, you would never guess that he is uh, probably one of the country's best goalies. Uh, having Adam back again is that comfort uh, level that we have, knowing that he's going to make a big save if we need it. Yeah. Oh, tonight, huh? Take it. Take that 90, what, three save percentage? Isn't that what you're supposed to do every night? Yeah. 90, yeah, uh, maybe 92 or something. Adam's a little bit unique in the fact that a lot of times you see goaltenders that aren't real athletic. Adam is very athletic. He was an option quarterback. Yeah, uh, playing football, I think that was just something that was just fun for me. Uh, my dad played it in college a little bit. I think uh, I think the guys on the team kind of, you know, give me some stuff about it because they didn't think I was very good. But I was just telling them to look at the uh, highlight video and I, uh, I'll have to bring some game film in for him. His athleticism allows him to become uh, an elite goaltender. He likes to win. Uh, he's competitive. Uh, he's focused. I said it before. It's almost like we got a one-goal head start because he he'll stop a, a goal that should have gone in. He'll stop it. Adam's love for dinosaurs started when Jurassic Park came out. Um, I remember my husband. Um, his dad taking him to the movie, and from then on, it uh, never stopped. He just fell in love with it. He was kind of sitting back in his chair during the movie, scared, scared as crap about the movie, but once he left that movie, he just saw a whole new world and fell in love with dinosaurs. As I got older, my mom just kind of wanted me to still be a child, so she kept 
you know, getting me dinosaur, you know, phone covers and stuff like that. Just more of a joke than anything. So I couldn't really decide what to put on the back of my helmet uh, this, this coming year. So she thought, oh, just throw a dinosaur on and be like a child. I'm like, God, yeah, not a bad idea. So ended up doing that. I just kind of Googled uh, T-Rexes because that was my favorite one. And, uh, you know, a lot of people think it's a one-legged one, but if you look closely, it's just kind of a 3D. You got to have really good eyes for it. But it's uh, T-Rex, like I said, is my favorite dinosaur, so I had to go with that. And I looked on Google and I thought this one looked good. You know, just a classy looking dinosaur there. 